Hi, I'm Ronnie from r, &R Importers and uh, we just received a new model from iNew uh, yesterday and I've been using it since then and playing around through with it uh, today as well. Um, it's a new iNew V8 model. It's got the 5.5 inch HD screen uh, and I'm very impressed so far with it. The design is beautiful, um, very solidly built, very high-end phone for the, the price that you're getting it. Um, at the bottom you've got your USB charging port, headphone jack, your mic, uh, your speaker sits there. You've got the 13 megapixel Sony rear camera with dual LED flash. Uh, you've got a back touch panel which is difficult to see on this but it's right around there which you can scroll through the menus and stuff and then the biggest uh, feature that sets this phone apart is the rotatable camera so you've got 13 megapixel at the rear and if you want to use it for selfies You've got a great 13 megapixel front camera with flash to take photos of yourself or Skype or stuff like that. Okay, and then like I said, it's very solidly built, very nice design, um, very nice 5.5 inch screen. So, uh, yeah, this one, if you can read this, it's a 1.5 gigahertz 6 core. Uh, processor. It's the MTK6591 processor. It comes standard with Android 4.4.2. You've got your HD 5.5 inch screen, comes with GPS, camera, rotatable camera, 3G and it's got a 2400 mAh battery. Inside the box you basically just get your screen protector, it's on and your set of uh, earphones, USB charging cable and charger. Okay, let's move on to the phone. So the screen is very nice, beautiful, uh, nice vibrant colors. It's very smooth operating it everything opens very fast so the screen quality is very good for this type of price range phone uh, going into some apps quickly let's start with Antutu just ran the test now, so it sits firmly between the Samsung S4 and the Samsung S3. It's uh, quite a bit above the S3 and as well the Samsung Galaxy Note. So this is, like I said, the 6-core processor. It's got 1 gig RAM, which for me is more than enough for the functions I, or the use, uh, the, uh, the stuff I use it for. Never really had issues with uh, RAM, too little RAM, so that's not an issue. It's got dual SIM, if you only use one SIM, there's only one SIM showing there. And the new feature of KitKat is that it's the transparent notification bar at the top. So I'm currently connected to Wi-Fi. Um, yeah, and if we can check device info, 4.4.2. Mali 450, resolution 720 by 1280, RAM 952, system storage. It's got 16 uh, gig on board, of which available you've got 13 gig available. The rest is for the system and stuff. Uh, NFC, it's got built in. So it's got direction sensor, acceleration sensor, light sensor, compass, proximity sensor. It's got uh, backlit keys. 
Okay, then we know some people use their phones for playing games. So I've installed FIFA 14. It's a free download, but it, they are in-app purchases. Uh, this game is 1.3 gig, so you're gonna need uh, to use Wi-Fi when downloading it, and it might take you a little while. Okay, let's see, confirm. Okay, let's see how do I start I don't want to download one Okay, let's see if we can get into this game. Sound is also very nice. Okay, I'm still figuring out all this stuff on it, so uh, I'm still not too good at this. Okay, so this is FIFA 14, like I said, it's pretty decent, looks very nice and I think all the soccer fans would uh, enjoy this game a lot. So let's go out of here, as you can see the game runs very smooth on it. Okay, then holding your home button, you reveal all your open, recently opened apps, close it or swipe them with that one, and then you free some memory as well. Uh, now the camera, because a lot of people will want to buy it for the camera, it's got the Sony camera inside. Uh, this is some pictures I took earlier, 
and videos and uh, really taking very beautiful photos crisp clear nice colors so if you're gonna buy it for the camera then uh, you're gonna make a very good choice with this can record HD video as well And then like I said for the front camera you just rotate it and then it will switch and you can take uh, front facing photos. So very good camera. You won't make a mistake if you buy this uh, to get the camera features. Uh, going into some settings, about Android 4.4.2, KitKat. Uh, let's go into some, yeah, obviously, if you want to watch videos you can upload them or put them on your SD card which can obviously can take a SD card as well and put your full videos or movies on there. Okay, so that's uh, movies as well on it. Then uh, music. So uh, put all your music on there if you're into music as well. Obviously you've got WhatsApp, all that stuff where you download it from the Play Store, which is there. Put in your Gmail account and you're ready to start downloading. Uh, some other apps, barcode scanner, put on the internet browser. And you can open multiple apps. I use Chrome most of the time, it's very nice. rrimporters.com, that's our website where you can go check out uh, all our range of phones with video reviews. Okay, so this is just some of our phones we've got in stock. Click on the picture and you'll go into that site. Uh, where did I go wrong now? Cell phones. Okay, and here yeah, you'll see our YouTube videos. And you can start playing it from here. Hi, this 
is running from RNR importers. Uh, we've got a new device again uh, that just came in. I've been testing it for, for a day or so. Um, okay, it's a new swipe that away, open a new tab. And the touch response is very good on all the keys. Everything touches perfectly well and very responsive. That's a Namibia newspaper. Uh, double tap to zoom or pull it to zoom and that's the new Miss Namibia. And web pages loaded real fast. So as I said you can open multiple tabs and just type away and then close them like this. Okay, then another thing which we can go through, obviously it's got Google search, which is voice searching or set appointments. Wake me up in 10 hours. Setting alarm for 2.06 a.m. Okay, Google. Set doctor's appointment for Wednesday. Okay, then from there you can go to your calendar, to Wednesday. Okay, Google. What's the weather like in Namibia? It's 24 degrees and clear in Windhoek. Okay, so a great feature for search as well. Uh, your phone dialer. Looks like this. Where's that? There's your dial pad. Then you've got your all your calls, your favorites, and your contacts are there. Your messaging app, new message to type it there, type your text there. Uh, rotation, is it on? to rotate I think this messaging app is only one way I'll have to see if there's another some settings but for now uh, I think it's only one way Okay then, uh, Dropbox I use a lot for uh, saving my photos and stuff so I never lose it. Obviously you can have your normal email account and the Gmail. Put on Facebook. It's got a built-in flashlight. And the dual LEDs works well there. Uh, some other settings, the rear touch which I've said it's got. Uh, you can put it on there and then you can Decide for what you want to use it. If you swipe the left, right, and if you're in an app or a web browser, then you can uh, swipe up and down as well. Double tap or hold it. Let's go into the settings quickly. I'll show you. Uh, where is that? Touchpad. Okay, so you, you switch it on there, double tap the rear, then you can select uh, whatever app you want to open. Uh, slide up and down and left and right. Camera interface, press till vibrate and release to take photos and in the music you control your music as well with it. So that's the functions of that. Uh, then it's got the flash alert, 
so you said it when you receive SMSs, it will flash once incoming calls, it will do a continuous flash of the LED. Of course, it doesn't have a LED notification light. So that will be your only indication that you're getting an SMS or a call apart from the ringtone. Okay, then uh, it's got the built-in radio, GPS. Uh, it works pretty well. I did get a lock pretty quickly earlier. I am currently indoors, outside it, once it got the lock it was instantly uh, that it did get a signal. Indoors it takes a little longer to get the, get the location. And that is without uh, Wi-Fi or data connection. So I'm not going to wait that long, it takes about a minute or so to get the indoor location. It currently does have 10 satellites in view. So I'll skip that for now. Uh, yeah, then obviously maps. That's Google Maps. Okay, like that. Satellite. Okay, so that's Google Maps. And it is pretty accurate. I'm currently there. It's showing here. So pretty close. Okay, so I think I've gone through most of this stuff. It's got sound recorder and then obviously the rest of the stuff you just go download from the Play Store. There are over a million apps currently to download. Um, so this phone for the price uh, there really is nothing from the big brand names that can match the quality, the price and the spec wise. So if you're looking for a great alternative phone uh, with a great price compared to what you get from the big brand names then uh, this is definitely the phone to look for. Uh, it's nice and big, not too big, uh, but 5.5, around 5, 5.5, that's becoming the normal standard range, it seems. So uh, for that uh, size and um, price-wise, this is a great, great option. Uh, we currently only got a few of the first batch that was produced. Uh, so do come to the shop, come check it, and uh, you're going to like it with, uh, as soon as you see it. So thanks for watching. Bye.